a universe to close out the working week I want to get in another uh, review video and although I have been mostly watching Italy and um, of course the Premier League uh, during the week um, and also on the previous weekend I actually thought it makes most sense to look into what happened in Portugal and what happened in Spain uh, not only this weekend but in Spain the midweek yes it is not too long ago that I made a, a video about this but it actually sets up nicely for the final phase of the um, of those two leagues and we have to crown another champion FC Porto and as the title says it's probably happened in the sweetest sweetest way possible uh, we'll talk about that in a sec um, uh, also but in Spain um, we now have basically everything decided almost everything decided except for the bottom uh, it is really now our attention has to turn to the relegation fight which is quite exciting in Spain I gotta say although they, it also crystallizes that yeah now it's a duel because these guys Granada and I'm wearing this weird but still kind of cool prototype shirt from a few seasons ago uh, Granada actually made a huge 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 turnaround there but I would say we'll start in Portugal as I usually do and FC Porto are champions and they literally did it the sweetest way possible you had the big clash against Benfica and it was a game where Benfica maybe had more of the game, but Porto was always a little bit more threatening. Uh, Darwin Nunez's goal was not given for offside because the, the, it happened in the build-up. But you really thought that Benfica really wants to not have Porto win the title at their ground. And then in stoppage time, uh, a cro um, cross by Pepe lands on the head of uh, Zaidu and the title is done. Not only do you celebrate your 30th title, so you get your third star, but you do it in the stadium of arguably your biggest rival, Benfica. The two uh, teams that have been thoroughly dominating in Portuguese uh, soccer over the past few uh, years. And Benfica was the only team that had three stars. Now they have their rival from Porto uh, through level as well. Benfica therefore safe, and it was already clear, safe in uh, third place. Uh, so we had the typical one, two, three. Yes, uh, Sporting could not uh, mount a good title defense, but let's see how it will uh, end next time, um, uh, next year. We still have kind of a relegation file, although it um, looks that the bottom three are the ones. Two of those will go straight down, and then the third one will go into the relegation scrap, um, which at the moment looks to be uh, Tondela. Uh, because Morange and Belenenge are a little bit behind. Um, if I look at the next round, uh, Belenenge should play Aruka. Uh, rather unlikely that they will do it. Tondela have a home game against Boavista, a team that also has not been all that great this season. But Morange has a little bit easier game against Vizela at home. So maybe there's still a little bit to play for there. The last round, all not all fixtures are played at the same time. It's a little bit divvied up to kind of um, have the games that matter all played at the same time. Okay, moving over to Spain, and I think for once it is worth to remind ourselves what was the situation uh, before the two match days that we'll talk about. We had Real Madrid uh, fix as champions. We had Barcelona more uh, already in the Champions League. Uh, Sevilla almost there. Atletico Madrid had to uh, worry about that because they were only three points ahead of Betis. Um, and then we also see for the European spots there is, you know, uh, Betis and Sociedad are relatively safe, but Villarreal Athletic Club. There could something happen, although uh, Villarreal are uh, probably in a much, much better shape. And of course, as I said in, in, in the intro, the big one it was, of course, a relegation scrap, where we saw Alaves and Levante more or less going down, but Granada, Mallorca, Cadiz, um, two of these will be safe. And at that time, it looked like Granada will be the team um, going down with a huge, and I cannot overstate this, huge, away game a uh, looming at Mallorca a game that uh, very well was about to decide uh, the fortune of these two clubs and it was a very very emphatic 6-2 win by Granada absolute stunning win a win that literally reversed from here on 
Granada really good. My Mallorca has, uh, as we'll see, did not have a bad result, but a result that almost anyone gets. Also, as we said, Levante gave it their all still. 2-1 against Real Sociedad. Um, Betis losing 2-1 to Barcelona. I saw a bit of that game. Uh, Barcelona winning later. It was a very even game, but then Barcelona made the right changes. They couldn't cope with it. Uh, Betis couldn't cope with it any, 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 anymore in the last 30 minutes. Uh, it was Barcelona who were about to win. Uh, um, Alaves 4 0 to Celta, more or less uh, Celta said, and then a pretty big clash for Villarreal and Sevilla 1 1. Both actually needed the win, but Sevilla cannot win anymore. And it gotta be said that Sevilla's season is probably one of the most disappointing seasons because you really thought at one point they might challenge for the title, and then it never came. And this is so severe. Uh, but uh, going back to the relegation scrap, I forgot about uh, Khalid, who get a 3-0 win over Elche. So all the teams down there, except for Mallorca, are really getting important results. Uh, and then another important result, a, a second-string Real Madrid team, and Simi Carlo Angelotti in, in preparation for the Champions League final, is not playing one week with a good squad, one week with a, um, uh, you know, reserve squad to kind of manage the load, to, but still keep the players sharp. They lose to a Carrasco penalty to Atletico Madrid. Jan Oblak needed to make a few saves, but I think this was probably the least important Madrid derby in a long, 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 long time, giving Atletico Madrid an important win. Because at that point, uh, it seemed rather secure to go into Champions League. It was not 100%, but it seemed rather secure. Sevilla also, with that point, it did enough secure the Champions League more or less there because Betis lost to uh, Barcelona. And you saw already the variety riding on the wall. We are a little club still tight, but on the bottom, yes, Levante moving a little bit up, uh, but still far from safe, uh, far from safety. Mallorca flip flopping with Granada, and at that point, it was pretty clear Mallorca, Levante, Alaves. Those are the three teams. And fun, fun, fun enough, I mean, I, I got a Mallorca shirt. I was really wanting to get an Alaves shirt, and I was even thinking about Levante. So uh, three shirts that I may have bought. Only one I did, so would have gone down. So yeah, would have not have worked out that well. And so in the midweek, uh, Betis, huge win over Valencia, kind of keeping the pressure um, on uh, uh, Atletico Madrid. However, you know, it was more or less a last-ditch effort. Of course, this is the replay of the Spanish Cup final. Uh, Granada then with a huge win of Athletic Club, and that more or less released Granada of most of the worries. It also gave a huge shot in the arm to uh, Villarreal uh, in terms of qualifying for Europe. Barcelona 3-1 win over Celta. Nothing really to write home about. Uh, I think there was um, uh, what well, was it Araujo who uh, who collapsed on the, on the field, but he was fine in the end. Mallorca, a credible nil-nil draw at Sevilla, but you know, if you don't, if Granada keeps winning, Mallorca will not get in. So the hope is that maybe they can catch Cadiz, who lose three 0 to Real Sociedad. So there is a slight hope for uh, Mallorca still there. Uh, and Atletico Madrid with a 2-0 at Elche securing a Champions League spot. Huge deal. Not only for Atletico Madrid, but also for Barcelona. Because now Atletico Madrid could, keep, uh, could afford to keep uh, Antoine Griezmann. Although they could really, really mess with Barcelona and their salary structure. They said, no, nah, we're not keeping Antoine. Send him back to Barcelona. Won the transfer that did not work out at all. And yeah, Villarreal 5-1 over Rayo, uh, putting enough distance, it's not 100% secure, but it will most likely be Villarreal who play in the Conference League next season. And then Real Madrid with a good squad, Benzema playing way too long, I would say, 6-0 over Levante, and yeah, sending Levante down, uh, which is kind of sad because they have been quite a while up there, but you know, maybe you just need to have a cycle like Espanyol did last time, time around Levante will be uh, back up. So, as I said, uh, at the moment, Atletico Madrid are secured in Champions League, uh, six points and, you know, head-to-head, -head, I think, over Betis as well. Um, but now Sevilla suddenly, with on the, on the draw, it seems secure. It seems secure, but it's still, Betis could still catch them. It's still highly, highly, highly unlikely. Five points with two rounds to play. I still think that Sevilla will qualify for the Champions League there. Uh, so it will be Betis and Real Sociedad going into the Europa League. 
um, uh, Betis of course having it secured already thanks to winning the cup and then Villarreal uh, as I said four points ahead of Athletic Club I don't think Athletic Club uh, will have anything to play there but going on the bottom do you see how I turned around for Granada? Just uh, a, a bit more than a week ago, there were 57% chance that they get relegated. Uh, it's down now to 1%. Huge results. Two really, really, really big results. Beating Mallorca, beating Athletic Club. And up you go. And now it is more or less being in Cardiff and Mallorca uh, with Alaves having an outside shot. I mean, mathematically it's still possible. Uh, but it's between those, uh, more or less between those two who will go on with Cardiff holding a two point advantage. The next round, I, I haven't put up the final round yet uh, for the simple reason that I expect this to be uh, divvied up in any case, so nothing is fixed yet. Um, let's look at especially the relegation. I mean, Granada plays a bet, this bet is will need to win. Atletico Madrid Sevilla will be a huge, 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 huge game, but yeah, you see. And uh, at the moment, these are almost all played at the same time, as, as, as you can see, but I still expect that there might be some moving around. So Athletic uh, Comatorita Sevilla could have been a huge game, but I think it's just now Sevilla need, need, need to just get a point or maybe two uh, to make sure that they stay ahead of Betis. So in that sense, uh, it is not that, uh, that exciting. Rayo have potentially a winnable game, or uh, Rayo, Mallorca have a winnable game over Rayo. Um, Cadiz have to play Real Madrid. Although this will be that game where Real Madrid will show up with a B squad. So uh, we got to see as well. And then of course we have for the European spots, uh, you see uh, Villarreal and the Real Sociedad. Um, Villarreal will need something there. So, you know, when it comes to uh, Champions League, European sports and um, uh, relegation, all these games kind of are intertwined with each other. All of the first two don't really matter. So, yeah, I would like to know from you who you think will get relegated. Uh, let me know any thoughts that you have about the happenings in these two leagues. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. This was a short one to 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 be honest, but it helps when you don't see too many uh, games, then you don't need to talk so much about them. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely watch more La Liga uh, in the upcoming season uh, because it's an exciting league, but this season didn't work out all the time. Any case, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.